You know what they say is that weird cells. Okay, well, as it turns out, I forgot to film an intro for this video. So here we are sitting in the car with Laurel in the back seat. Uh, we are back at Old Glory Antiques. I visited Old Glory a few weeks ago with Kate, but we had to cut it a little short, so I didn't get to see the whole store. So I decided to return um, and visit some of the booths that I missed the last time and see what treasures I had overlooked um, that I could buy and flip for a profit. So that's today's video. There is no Laurel with us, even though she is here with the, in the car with me now, um, being a little fussy, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you at the end of the video with our total. Okay well Kate and I started in the other direction the last time and I completely neglected this whole area all the way back so I think this is where we're going to start today and um, I'm pretty optimistic that we're gonna find some treasures because I did fairly well the last time I was here. So let's see what we can find. I love this booth. It has so much of my aesthetic in it, um, but if I recall, some of the prices are a bit much for uh, buying and selling, but that doesn't mean I can't admire it just a little. I love this. There's no markings on that. I feel like it's probably Japan. Oh, it's sitting there making me nervous. <laughs> Oh, here is a cat decanter. It's the larger version too. This one is 75. I've seen the smaller ones. That is a neat looking dish and it's Royal Hager. Wow. I've never seen that one before. It's only $5 probably because of that chip there on the edge. That's wild. Yeah, I've never seen that one before. I wouldn't have even guess that it was Royal Hager. I saw it and I thought, it looks like it could be Francoma from a distance. Kate and I did visit this booth the last time we were here because I remember we were both lured in by the 50% off. <laughs> and uh, this was here when we were here. This is 38.85. It's March. Maurice of California. I love the glaze of that. That um on the interior and the brushed gold on the exterior. I kind of regretted leaving this behind on my last visit, so um, I'm gonna buy it this time. I noticed this milk glass vase up here and I was like, wow, that is a nice looking vase, right? It is, it's a nice looking vase. So I pulled it down and it took me like a whole minute of staring at the tag to realize that originally it was $1,100. <laughs> And then the price was dropped to $550.95. So it's a really nice vase, but I don't think that I can pay that for it, even at 50% off. I'll just stick with my California pottery for now. There's an Amberina swung glass in there. They have 65 on that. That's a decent size for $65, given the prices are now through the roof. This booth is also 50% off, so it must be the same thunder, I would assume. Have some nice Italian pottery in here. Looks like Cabo de Monte. What are those weirdos? My goodness. They're delightful. Oh, and it opens. Let's look closer, shall we? What are they? They're just little, like, pair of something, something, <laughs> $26. My gosh, they're so weird. There's this, um, audio going around on Instagram right now that's like, buy the weird stuff. And it's like, story of my life. <laughs> this one has a lot of damage on it, though. I don't know if it's gonna focus for you guys. Um, it's actually been glued back together. If there wasn't... I mean, I could forgive the chip on the ear, but I don't think I can forgive that damage. Let's look at the bottom of that. Forget box, $22.95. All right, let us continue. That plate has been placed in there rather precariously, but this looks to be an older piece of rose medallion, and the reason I can recognize that is because the colors on it are so faded. I'm curious what they have on this because let's see the back oh, very carefully. $325. There are no markings on it. 
Mm-hmm. 325 dollars And it is 50% off. I might have to think about that one. Oh my gosh, it makes me so nervous sticking it in there, but I know it won't fall. Beautiful perfume bottle with bird. Wow. I would have guessed that was Egyptian, but I don't know. Maybe not. I do think I looked in this case the other day, though, because I was looking at this mermaid stuff. Oh, that's uh, Judith Stiles in the back. I recently picked up a Judith Style lamp. Alberta, Canada. Let's look up here. This looks like it could be nice. It has a gorgeous hand-painted enamel on it, but there is a repair. Wow. How much are you? This is $45. Fenton. It's a beautiful piece of Fenton. It is signed. Huh. I really love that pink crest and that iridescence. I think I'll only pay that for it. That vase there uh, reminded me of the David Goldhagen vase that I got the other day at um, Crossroads in Hagerstown. And I didn't know what it was at the time. But I pulled this out and I looked at the bottom and it has a Made in China sticker on it. So it is not the same. I recall finding some treasures here in the back corner on my last visit. Um, but it was kind of noisy back here. So I didn't do a whole lot of filming. And and it seems to be the case today as well. It's just a little bit noisy, so I'm trying to talk over the music. There is a whole tribe of figurines. Oh, that's the rare Tilso giraffe, $149. Wow, I was gonna say that. That's one I've never seen before, and that is very cool in the purple. I'm not sure why, but it seems like I always find the things that are not for sale, <laughs> like this awesome cat. It's so cool hanging off the side of the shelf like that, but alas, it is Nifus. So here is another um, piece that I saw the last time I was here, and honestly, I was just a little too uh, too lazy to go and get a key. Um, but today, I think, is the day. So this is $125, but if you guys recall, I had purchased those... Um, those cherub angels from the Goodwill not too long ago and they had a little bit of damage to them and they ended up selling for um, over over a hundred dollars and they were smaller and they were not in as good a condition as this one so this is hundred and twenty five dollars but I would be willing to pay up for that knowing how well my last one sold. I spy a very large Viking ashtray and I need my hand to turn it over. It's heavy too. One hand in. MCM glass ashtray, $48. I head down this aisle because I don't think that I was able to look at this aisle. Authentic Charles Hollis Jones Lucite chess set. Wow, with an original box. Those are incredible. See, if I would have found those one of those out in the wild, I would have no idea what it is. But now you know, if you ever spot one of those things, they belong to a chess set. That thing is pretty incredible. Made of metal. I feel like it's probably wood and then um, cased in metal. I just want to see what the price is before I try even pulling it out of there. It looks like it's 35 can't tell if it's 95 or 35 If I had to guess, I'd say probably 95 That's incredible. Well, I just pulled this off the shelf. Um, it's $35 and 20% off. Kind of a nice size uh, swan glass vase in blue. They have another one here for 65 that's much smaller. And then this Blanco down here, I'm gonna switch off the camera and get a peek at the price on that. Looks like the Blanco picture is $50. Again, 20% off, but I don't think I'm gonna mess with it. 
So just to give you a little perspective, um, <laughs> that one vase was 65, I think. It was about a, little, maybe a smidge smaller than this one in the back. But they have 175 on that one. These two on the side are both at 68, though. Anyway, let's head back to where I stopped. I had to bring everything up front because my hands were getting a little full. So Kate and I looked through this booth the last time and missed this booth over here. So I want to check out these Cupies. Cupie with cello, each $19. <laughs> what does this guy have? I guess he has like a drum. Madonna and Child Tinted Reconstituted Stone. That's neat. This pretty lady looks like she came all the way from Holland. Denmark, that's right, Denmark, $15. The last time I sold one of these um, Danish angels, it sold very well, and I think 15 is a reasonable price for that, as long as she doesn't have any damage. So we'll take her. This is very pretty with the hand-painted uh, floral enamel. I don't see any damage on it. Um, sometimes I gotta check the applied handle. They have 44 on this. Pontal teal and crystal pitcher. I feel like that could be bohemian. No markings on it, but the enamel work is really nice on it. A lot of the times it gets worn off. Um, but in this case, it's good, so I think I'll take this as well. That's a pretty lamp in the back. Let's see what it says. Reproduction galley lamp signed by a maker on shade. That is a really pretty reproduction galley light. Let's see if it's plugged in. Can we light it up? No. I was hoping we get a peek at it. That's kind of wild looking. Vintage Jordan Imports Company handmade blown glass. Plum to blue. $95. Does it have its original? Oh, it does look. J.I. Co. Jordan Imports Company. Huh. That's nice. $95. Let's look at that a little closer. W.B. Oh, as is. There's a giant crack on it. Gosh, his head comes off. Is it a canister? Oh my gosh. No, it's a decanter. I was just noticing the very snooty expression on his face, and I went to go grab him by the head and <laughs> to find out it's a canister. Real utterly funny. Let's see if we can get that back on there. I have to do it with two hands. I got the lid on, and the Morocco almost jumped off the shelf. Well, both times I've been here recently, I've noticed people um, buying a lot of this vintage clothing. It's not really something that I delved into. I'm not. I'm not really all that keen on uh, vintage clothing. I don't know it very well, but uh, it seems to be a happening thing here. That's a nice wooden box. Seventies. Somebody put their butterfly stickers on that. There's a sweet poodle. This is the second of these I've seen while I've been shopping here. This is made in California. It's a horse or a donkey, $28. The other one I saw was actually a poodle. I didn't catch it on camera, um, <laughs> but I do like him. All right, well that piece of Murano is still in there for only $8 and I don't think I can walk away from it this time. I'm probably gonna have to get a key. If I'm getting a key for that, I might as well, although this is as is, um, I was smitten with this uh, vase here with the two budgies on it the last time. But again, I wasn't like, hey, let's get a key for that. <laughs> so I guess today's the day. It's this box. It's hand painted with a bird on it. There are some mushrooms in there. That one looks to be Viking. I think the Viking come in three different sizes. Um, and that one looks to be medium, maybe small, I'm not sure. And then there's another one there. That one's $45. Yeah. 
This picture here has hand painted enamel on it. Hand blown, hand painted. Um, I guess it's a hunt scene. Glass picture, English writer, gold trim. You know what though? It feels like something was supposed to set in there and I think that it's missing a piece. Here's a little bit of Fenton. This one is $9.99. How much is this guy? Ooh, come here, you. This one is $24.99. Has that gold crust on it? I'm not sure what those prices. If I could do it, I feel like the smaller one is probably a good deal. But I don't want to take one and not the other, so I'm gonna leave them both. This has some dust on it. Um, it's ten dollars. You can see it is signed on the back. It's a fused glass, but it has dichroic glass in there, which kind of, depending on how the light hits it, gets that uh, shininess. I think the dust is also preventing it from shining too much. Uh, but for only $10, I think I'll pick that up. And um, I'm almost around to the checkout and I'm gonna attempt to get a hold of some keys. Okay, so I am now at the point of getting keys. Um, I went and I looked at that plaster angel and it just, it, got, it gave me feelings of being more contemporary than the ones that I found at Goodwill. So for 125, I decided to pass on that. But I am gonna get a closer look at this Bolacante in the back. All right, this is only eight bucks, and it looks like it's passing the Murano test, so I will take it. Awesome. <laughs> As I was walking by this booth, I happened to glance and see this. It looks like uh, Mexican folk art, but not really. It doesn't really, I don't know, they're usually signed. Alley Brie Hayes. Um, so I'm not really sure about that. I thought, like, from as I was walking by, fast paced, like, oh my gosh, Ali Brihe. But I don't think it is. The glass back in this corner is a little bit spendy, but I wanted to see if there's anything in here that I can rationalize uh, before I take off today, because occasionally I'll spot something that I just can't live without. I think I've looked at this every time I've come in here. It is Italian, right? Or am I crazy? Yeah, made in Italy. I still can't rationalize that though. <laughs> 39. It is adorable. That might say 99. Is it a perfume? Let's mm, check it out. It has a nice polished base, but 99. I can't rationalize it. <laughs> I think I'm just going to have to give up and decide that this booth is not meant for me. What in the world is this thing? It's a little bit creepy. What is it? Ten ten dollars. I can't even really look at it. What is it? It's marked on the bottom. Axlon. Rude Ralph. I wonder what's supposed to go into his ears. That's kind of fun, I'm not gonna lie. I have absolutely no cell phone signal in here, so I can't even look it up if I wanted to. I take that back. I just had to step into the corner uh, to get a good signal. And it looks like these Rude Ralph things sell for upwards of 50 bucks. And they have $10 on it. Holy smokes. You know what they say is that weird sells. So I'm literally going to walk around cradling this Rude Ralph under my arm like a child. <laughs> I think I'm about done here. Um, I'm going to check out this booth and then we're going to head up towards the checkout. Okay, well I don't recall my exact spend, but I can tell you it was less than $200 because in Maryland... It has to be over $200 to be tax exempt, which is crazy, but it's a thing. Um, so it was under 200, probably, I think it would be like 160, I'm guessing. Um, I could just go back and look, but I'm not going to. Uh, I'm gonna get out of here now. I'm gonna hit the road for home, um, making chicken soup tonight. So that should be fun. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see all of you tomorrow. So long. I know it's nothing new. It's so good to see you